Well, hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play Victoria! If you remember from last time, we were working away at our economy and we were about to run out of things we were building. Spain is damaging relations. Our GDP has done quite well. We nearly doubled it last part because I think we started about 28. And so, yeah, if we'd got to 50, I'd say we basically doubled it, but we're nearly at that point. Let's just take a look. Silk's a wee bit expensive. How's the population like here? It is fine. So let's just come in and go silk. Tea's a wee bit expensive. You know what? Let's just go double the silk. Double the tea. We know we've got rice. Fruit is really expensive. And sugar. Meat is really expensive. They're all quite expensive things. Tobacco. It's a wee bit expensive. Get a couple of them. We've got lots of potential for farms here. This cotton looks like it's a wee bit expensive. Lovely, lots of farms. Probably need another railway after that, all that as well, so there we go. We just oh we've got population there for days, that is fine. We'll keep building up here. You know what we could get another government admin probably after that. Insufficient taxation capacity. This is just... No, it's not what we were. Yeah, because that will help us a lot with our economy. If we can get our taxation capacity... To finally... Be all sorted. And the paper mills, we were... Sulfur is cheap as chips. We need more sulfury stuff. Oh, colonization here is finished, yay! So, we're following everything into Congo right now. Actually, it reminds me, laws, we've got to take a look. Ah, we could really use for getting our colonial law up. We're just going to leave it all focusing on Congo right now and get our African colonies up. Hey. Right. Fund a larger investigation. It's going to hurt our economy for a bit, but as soon as we get rid of them, the better. Paper. Can we go down to this one? Because we really need more sulfur dye. Yeah, you know what? Do it. Do it. We'll make paper nice and cheap. Iron's going to become really cheap. But we can drop down. Tools will become really cheap. Yeah, we don't want to go that much. Pam into it. would become really expensive and services would become really cheap so let's take a look, we've already got markets there's on some of them, let's take a look here glass will become expensive if we do that right, let's take a look at glass then, can we make glass cheaper oh we could jump up to leaded glass crystal glass I've got an idea on how I'm going to jump up to leaded glass I've got an idea on how we can make lead cheaper as well. So come down to rural. Where's our lead? We could jump up to atmospheric engines. That's going to make lead cheap. Go to that. We'll let our economy bounce out a bit after those changes. And we've got lots of buildings in the works, don't we? Yeah. We put lots of buildings down to be constructed. You know, maybe we should build a couple of construction sectors. And what are our construction sectors doing at the moment? Right, I'd really like to get to steel frame. Which we're going to need more explosives for as well. Okay. Okay, dokie. Yeah. Tweaking our economy.
Slowly but surely, we're getting more industrialized. And it's working quite well. Alright, our GDP is growing, our literacy rate is growing. We unlock Nitro Gristling. I would really like Dynamite. Though... It's in society, isn't it? I come over. Steel frame buildings would be kind of good. 14 years though, yeah, it's a wee bit ahead of our time. Well, it's not ahead of our time, it's ahead of our nation. Our Nation starts off as a backwater. Hmm. What do we research next? What do we research next? I think we just go for dynamite like our original plan was. Especially for those gold mines. Especially for those gold mines. That'll make our money skyrocket if we just get to mine more gold. Right. Infamy is all gone. Down here, this is what we want. Get rid of you. Conquer state. Hello. We go Wabam. Confirm. Add war go. Conquer state. Add there. Make it primary. Conquer state. Add there, make it clear. Oh, America might join them. That's a wee bit worrying. We'd need to conquer them really fast. So this guy, we're going to promote him, promote him, promote him. Promote them again, so we can have everyone. Mobilize. Control that front. We've got three guys there. Yeah, we'll leave it. France sides of Argentina. That's really bad. Open the Japanese market. Japanese war recreations. They're now confident. Yeah, we may need to back down in this. We may just back down. Yeah, back down. Back down. Hello. We got free trades. That opened us up. Because it was made a primary goal. So now we can trade with people. So that's kind of good. I'd really like to get some skills. Who want this to go through? The industrious and intelligentsia. We'd need them to be in the government if we want skills. So if we kick the samurai out, that gives us up to 100. But if I go for the industrialists... Intelligentsia... It's even worse. Let's try getting the industrialists in. Confirm. Let's try getting private skills. At least then we can help with the education a bit. And I can also trade now for resources that I'm sure of.
Yes! The Shogunat just lost a lot of its power. Nice. That's to reform the government. Nah, it's still not that great. That's great, that's great. That kind of worked out well for us, because we can say, oh, it's them that made us do it. That actually worked out quite well. Insufficient taxation capacity. Can declare more interest. Oh, hello. Declare interests. There, please. Have I still got all that information from before? We should have got rid of most of it. We'll let that tick away. And we'll take over some of Peru, Bolivia. Which, later on, will give us access to some oil. I'm pretty sure they've got some oil. Native uprising in Congo, but it's not against me. It's against... It's a different Congo. Right. Ah, sure, we'll give the samurai a bit more power. The samurai can have a bit more power. Got lots of buildings to be built, so that's good. Me actually. Maybe we should build some more construction sectors to speed things up a wee bit. Actually, you know what? No, we're not making great money right now. We're not making great money. We'll leave it. We'll leave as is. Oh, seriously? Then just cancel. We can try again in a few years. Too much opposed still for it to be it's a wee bit risky. Hey, we finally caught that ripper. That'll help out a lot. Traditionalism. Yeah, we want to get away from traditionalism. Traditionalism sucks. Agrarianism's better. Oh, we don't have the... Yeah, I was going to try and change the military again, but I forgot we took them out. We took them out the government to try and do that last one. Yay! We got the bastard! Right, standard of living. They're still... Mainly green and clothes. I should just spam a load of green and rice fields. I thought that... have any green fields anywhere. It's all just rice here. I think all my other fields are over here in tight places. We've got millet here. Change it to fig. Change it to soil enriched. Population here is fine. And it's growing so we'll get another five millet farms. That'll help out. But it'll take time, and we'll have the population by the time it's done anyway. Oh! There are some people that want to be secessionists, are they? The new... The new... Who are you? I'm not sure what people those are, but they want to rebel. I'm guessing it's someone down here. We'll see in a second. Secession. What are they? Where is it? Oh no, it's up here. That was my Hokkaido. That was my second guess. Right. Right, mobilize you. Advance that front. Crush the new situation. Yes. So when we win, we crush them and they become part of me again. Jeez. 
start a living increase. Yeah, we thought those gold mines, our economies plummeted. Hokkaido gold mines were great for us. Come on. To war! Let's get this over and done with. So arms. Yeah, this is going to be very easy. Boom. Boom. Just curb stomp them all the way. What a surprise! Curb stump after curb stump. Let me try to go. We got our two declared interests. Got a call there. It's all good. I would like to get our colonial interests up a bit higher. that one. Oh, they got one little tiny little bit left. Capitulation. Boom. There's that dealt with. Happy days. Right, let's take a look at some of our economies that we played around with before. The glass is currently doing fine. Good. Furniture. Clothes. I would love to go up the sewing. Make things a bit cheaper for our people. We're going to need more explosives soon, so we'll do that. Uh, artillery is already fine, we don't need to go up there. higher on these. No, I don't want an alliance, Ecuador. Oh, when did we get that? Yeah, go up for that. The gold mines. Go up for that. I really want to go up to dynamite. Sulfur is already a good price. Lead. It's an okay price right now. That would make it too cheap. That would make it too cheap. You know, we should start using the trains for some of our stuff. It's already got an okay price, that's fine. That's all fine. Our economy is finally starting to recover, which is good. Contested government, insufficient taxation, high tension. It's all fine, that's all fine. Our economy is not really growing this part, that's a wee bit of a bummer. But we've been making progress in other areas. Gold discovered in Hokkaido. More gold in Hokkaido. Hokkaido is just spamming out that gold. It's out of population though. Which people will move there though, so that's really good. All those rice and millet farms are really help. Infamy, infamy is gone. Right, let's say. Uh... Try and conquer some land here. No one's leaning to either side, that's good. So 
What was that war goal? I want to conquer some more land. Yeah, we're gonna go for the Peruvian. For yeah. And we'll try and squeeze in. Now we can't squeeze in anywhere else. What's my infamy like at the moment? Uh, we'll try. If they make it go to war, we'll make it more likely. So I'm already going for the. Uh, there, yeah, those three. So I suppose it'll be there. Let's see, we don't have enough stuff left to go for any more than that. They're fearful. Spain is damaging relations. Put you on that front. Just in case they get any funny ideas. No one's joining them. They're probably just going to back down so they don't have to give me that last place. And officially no one's joining them. It's the countdown to war. They back down or we... Are they going to back down? Are they going to back down? Oh, I think they're going to fight it. I think they're going to fight it. To war! advantage here. We have 105, they have 52, we have an average offense defense of 50, they have 37. So we've got more and our troops are better, but they're on the defensive. Yeah, and you can see defense is better than offense. It's easier to have a higher defense than it is offense. So we might just not have enough to... Hang on, but he's got everyone on the front, so if I come to military and we recruit this guy and then we come back, we mobilize him. Navy, we get one of our we'll recruit an admiral. This guy. We do naval invasion of here with this guy. That'll draw some of his men away from the front and should mean we can win some battles. Or if he doesn't draw some men away from the front, we just gobble up his land from behind him and gain war score that way. Because there's 105 men are going to keep winning. Because, yeah, defense is higher than offense. So even though my troops are better. Defense, yeah, starts off really high. Flotilla's are reserved. Just going to need to keep spamming. They're already building some there. It's not got around to it yet. Government admins, we need. Right. Oh, it looks like we're finally starting to kick his butt here. Oh, we might finally win a battle. Take a look at our navy, prepare their forces speed things up just as we're waiting on stuff to happen finally fighting the enemy yeah they've only got two ships I thought their navy would be insufficient compared to mine boom and he's got no troops there so he's gonna either have to split his force or we're just gonna gobble up all his land from behind him and it looks like we're finally starting to kick his butt on the front here too oh this is really bad for them 
They don't even have the men to spare here. They were just winning and no more, and they're not even winning anymore. Oh, it looks like they have pulled 20 troops back. So yeah, we're going to get our butts absolutely kicked here now, because we've only got three. We could, uh... What is he? This guy. I just want this front. Slow things down. We're going to want to stall them as much as possible up here with this little guy. So we're just going to put him on defend front as soon as it's available to do so. There's currently a battle one going, which is why we can't. As soon as this battle's over. That's good because that's 20. That means we're going to steamroll down here. Going to absolutely steamroll. This battle would hurry up and finish. That'd be great. Put them on the defensive. Delay them as much as possible. And our defense will be... Huge compared to theirs. They have 30. They put 30 men up here now. They really want this gone as soon as possible. Come on, hurry up. Battle's end. Come on, does it just end? Right, change it to be the defensive on that front. Meanwhile, up here, oh wow, still, we're still losing some battles, but we've gained a lot of land, which is good. We can do like a round two or three of this, and eventually they're just not going to have the resources. If we could take over, where's their, uh, are they buying their guns? I suppose they do have an open economy, and they're quite small, they could easily buy enough guns completely from... A different nation. I don't see where any munitions factory, any arms factories at all. Yeah, they're probably buying like all their weapons from a different nation, so we can't take them over that way. Where? If we take over all the coastland, then that'd be. Yeah. Right, let's speed things up. So they won that battle. gonna win another battle here it's all good our economy is tanking a wee bit we got plenty of money in the plenty of money in the bank we're building plenty of stuff our economy is finally on the rise again which is great he's holding them up here they're gonna get pushed off soon then they'll come back down here and reinforce but We've already gobbled up quite a bit of extra land, and they're already getting close to capitulating. Well, not capitulating, but getting to zero. But then we're going down too, because we're losing battles. Right. He's back to being full down here. So... Could activate conscripts here to give this guy a big buff of troops. Yeah, let's do another naval invasion, which is here again, with him again. Activate conscription centers. Yeah, let's activate the conscription centers just in those places. down to armies. I'll put this guy up to 12. The conscripted troops won't be anywhere near the quality, but that'll mean he'll be able to hold out for a lot longer. Our general here sucks. Oh, we're kicking their butts again. Yeah, 12, he should get reinforcements pretty soon. 
We'll see how much land we can gobble up before they can send troops to reinforce. Looks like he's already sending them up. They're going to be here soon. They're there. Wrong thing. Change them to defend front. kick off yeah we should find it easy to kick their butts down here now as for up here we can see we're actually winning oh, wait no that's them we've got a defense of 46 so so our defense is still better but they've just got three times the numbers but we should be able to hold them for a long time up here now though hopefully And as longer we hold them up there, the more we're going to absolutely curb stomp them down here. And look at that, their defense is actually getting lower. And I actually out, I'm out higher than them and have more troops now. Oh, look at this, they're at negative 77. Oh, they are getting really close to capitulating. They are getting really close to capitulating. We also own a lot of the land we're trying to claim, which is also makes it really good. We could even offer just to give them peace right now, but we're going to wait to the 100. There we go. Forced capitulation. Nice victory on the war, and almost perfect timing for a par. Population here is actually quite good. Let me add... Because I like having that second army for the naval invasion. Let's add... Some troops here. And I'm assuming the population here is quite good too. Yeah. No monument for the Shogun. Yeah, that's quite good. If we can now come up here, establish colony. There. Perfect. Start colonizing there. How's our little colony coming here? We built those five millet farms, that's good. Standard living. Oh, our authority is really bad. So we're going to need to do something about that. But yes, this will be a part. Time for me to say I hope you have all enjoyed this. We've had a couple of wars, we're gaining a lot of land, we're going to gain more troops, we're going to be quite a bit more powerful. Um, our technology is what's really starting to hold us back. I'd really love some more technology. Maybe we should build some more universities, work on our uh, literacy rate a bit. Um, but we are going to need to solve our economy, get our economy sorted out a wee bit. Um, yes, yes, hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time. Bye, say bye. <laughs>